Welcome to Storytime Haven, where enchanting tales come to life. Join us on a magical journey through the realms of imagination as we explore captivating stories from every corner of the universe. From daring adventures to heartwarming tales, our channel is your sanctuary for escapism and wonder. So sit back, relax, and let the storytelling begin Chapter 1, A Mysterious Discovery. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of crimson and gold across the sky, young Alex found himself wandering along the shoreline, the gentle lapping of waves providing a soothing soundtrack to his thoughts. With each step, the cool sand squished beneath his feet, a comforting reminder of the familiar surroundings he called home. But tonight was different. Tonight, something stirred within him, an unexplainable urge to venture beyond the horizon, to explore the vast unknown that lay beyond the comforting embrace of his coastal town. With a curious glint in his eye, Alex's gaze was drawn to a peculiar object, half buried in the sand. As he approached, he realized it was a metallic cylinder, its surface etched with strange symbols and intricate patterns. What in the world? He muttered to himself, reaching out to touch the mysterious artifact. As his fingertips brushed against its smooth surface, a tingling sensation coursed through his veins, as if awakening a dormant part of his being. Suddenly, the cylinder began to glow with an otherworldly light, casting eerie shadows on the sand. Alex stumbled back in awe, his heart pounding with excitement and trepidation. Before he could comprehend what was happening, the ground beneath him trembled, and a low hum filled the air. With a deafening roar, the cylinder erupted into a pillar of light engulfing Alex in its radiant embrace. And then, in the blink of an eye, everything changed. As the light faded, Alex found himself standing in a vast chamber. Surrounded by towering walls adorned with celestial maps and shimmering constellations, before him loomed a portal, its swirling vortex beckoning him with a promise of adventure and discovery. With a hesitant breath, Alex stepped forward, his mind buzzing with anticipation. Little did he know, this was only the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would take him to the farthest reaches of the universe and back again. Chapter 2. The Invitation to Adventure As Alex stood before the pulsating portal, a sense of wonder washed over him, mingled with a hint of apprehension. He couldn't help but marvel at the sheer magnitude of the chamber, its walls adorned with intricate diagrams depicting galaxies and nebulae stretching across the cosmos. Is this some kind of dream? He murmured, pinching himself to make sure he was awake. But the cool breeze that rustled through the chamber and the distant hum of machinery told him otherwise. Before he could ponder any further, a voice echoed through the chamber, resonating with a melodic yet authoritative tone. Welcome, traveler, it said, seeming to emanate from the very walls themselves. You have been chosen for a great purpose, a journey that will test your courage and curiosity. Startled, Alex spun around to find the source of the voice, but all he saw was the empty expanse of the chamber before him. Who's there? He called out, his voice echoing into the void. I am the guardian of the cosmos, the voice replied, its timber reverberating through the chamber. And you, young Alex, have been selected to embark on a quest of cosmic significance. Alex's heart raced with excitement and uncertainty. He had always dreamed of exploring the stars, but never in his wildest imagination did he expect it to become a reality. What kind of quest? He asked, his voice tinged with both curiosity and trepidation. The mysteries of the universe await you, the Guardian intoned. But first, you must prove yourself worthy of the journey. Seek out the cosmic cruiser, hidden amongst the stars, and unlock its secrets to uncover the path that lies ahead. With those cryptic words, the chamber fell silent once more, leaving Alex to ponder the magnitude of the task before him. Taking a deep breath, he squared his shoulders and set his gaze upon the swirling portal. Whatever lay beyond, he was determined to face it head on. For in that moment, he knew that his destiny awaited among the stars, and nothing would stand in his way. Chapter 3. Boarding the Cosmic Cruiser with a mixture of excitement and determination coursing through his veins, Alex stepped forward toward the swirling portal, its hypnotic vortex 
pulling him in like a moth to a flame. As he crossed the threshold, a surge of energy enveloped him, sending tingles of anticipation dancing along his skin. The world around him blurred and shifted, the familiar sights and sounds of his coastal town melting away into an ethereal haze. For a moment, he felt weightless, suspended in the void of space, before finding himself standing on the deck of a colossal spacecraft, the Cosmic Cruiser. The ship loomed before him, its sleek metallic hull gleaming under the glow of distant stars. It was like nothing Alex had ever seen before, a marvel of technology and engineering that seemed to defy the laws of physics. Wow, he breathed, taking in the awe-inspiring sight before him. This is incredible. As if in response to his wonder, a door slid open with a soft hiss, revealing the interior of the spacecraft. Without hesitation, Alex stepped aboard, his senses buzzing with anticipation. The interior of the cosmic cruiser was just as impressive as its exterior, with rows of glowing control panels and banks of blinking lights stretching as far as the eye could see. The air hummed with the hum of machinery, and a faint scent of ozone lingered in the air. Welcome aboard, Alex, a voice echoed from the ship's intercom, startling him out of his reverie. I am the ship's AI, your guide and companion on this journey. Nice to meet you, Alex replied, feeling a strange mix of excitement and nervousness at the thought of conversing with an artificial intelligence. Likewise, the AI responded, its tone warm and reassuring. Now, if you'll please take your seat, we will begin our voyage into the unknown. With a sense of anticipation building in his chest, Alex made his way to the cockpit and strapped himself into the pilot's seat. As the engines roared to life and the cosmic cruiser began to ascend into the stars, he couldn't help but feel a thrill of excitement at the adventures that lay ahead. For the first time in his life, he was truly soaring among the stars ready to explore the mysteries of the universe with every fiber of his being. Chapter 4, Into the Unknown As the cosmic cruiser soared through the vast expanse of space, Alex watched in awe as the stars streaked past the ship's viewport like shimmering streaks of light. It was a sight unlike anything he had ever seen before, a symphony of colors and patterns dancing across the cosmic canvas. Where are we going? Alex asked his voice barely above a whisper as he stared out into the infinite abyss. We are headed to the heart of the galaxy, the AI replied, its voice calm and steady, to a place where the mysteries of the cosmos are waiting to be uncovered. Excitement bubbled up inside Alex as he imagined the adventures that awaited him in the depths of space. He had always been fascinated by the unknown, drawn to the endless possibilities that lay beyond the confines of his small town. As the hours passed, Alex found himself lost in thought, pondering the secrets of the universe and the countless worlds that lay waiting to be discovered. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was on the brink of something extraordinary, something that would change his life forever. Suddenly, a blip appeared on the ship's radar, pulling Alex out of his reverie. It was a faint signal, barely registering against the backdrop of stars, but it was enough to send a jolt of excitement coursing through his veins. What's that? He asked, leaning forward in his seat, to get a better look at the screen. It appears to be a distress signal, the AI replied, its voice tinged with concern. A ship in need of assistance. Without hesitation, Alex sprang into action, his fingers flying across the control panel as he plotted a course toward the source of the signal. He couldn't ignore the call for help, not when someone out there was in need of assistance. As the cosmic cruiser hurtled through space toward its destination, Alex couldn't help but feel a sense of urgency building inside him. Whatever lay ahead, he was ready to face it head on, armed with nothing but his courage and determination to see him through. Chapter 5. The Science of Black Holes As the cosmic cruiser neared the source of the distress signal, Alex's heart pounded with anticipation. He had never encountered a situation like this before, and he wasn't sure what to expect. But one thing was certain. He was determined to help whoever was in trouble, no matter the cost. As the ship approached a swirling vortex of darkness, Alex's breath caught in his throat. He had heard stories of these cosmic phenomena, but he had never seen one up close before. It was a black hole, 
a celestial object so dense that not even light could escape its gravitational pull. Whoa, he whispered, his voice barely audible over the hum of the engines. That's intense. The AI nodded in agreement. Indeed, black holes are one of the most enigmatic and powerful forces in the universe. They warp space and time in ways that defy our understanding of physics. As they drew closer to the edge of the black hole's event horizon, Alex's heart raced with a mixture of fear and excitement. He knew that one wrong move could spell disaster, but he also knew that he had to do whatever it took to help whoever was trapped on the other side. Can we get any closer? He asked, his voice trembling slightly as he stared into the abyss. The AI hesitated for a moment before responding. It's risky, but I believe we can navigate safely to the edge of the event horizon. However, once we cross that threshold, there's no turning back. Alex took a deep breath and nodded, steeling himself for what lay ahead. He knew that this was his moment to shine, his chance to prove himself as a true explorer of the cosmos. With a steady hand on the controls, Alex guided the cosmic cruiser toward the edge of the black hole's event horizon, his eyes fixed on the swirling maelstrom of darkness before him. As they crossed the threshold into the unknown, he felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through his veins, driving him forward into the heart of the abyss. Little did he know, the true adventure was only just beginning. Chapter 6. Gravity's Grip As the cosmic cruiser crossed the threshold of the black hole's event horizon, Alex felt a strange sensation wash over him. It was as if the very fabric of space and time had shifted around him, distorting reality in ways he couldn't begin to comprehend. Whoa, things are getting... weird, Alex muttered, his voice tinged with awe and uncertainty. The AI nodded in agreement. Inside the event horizon, the laws of physics as we know them no longer apply. Gravity becomes infinitely strong, stretching and distorting everything in its path. As Alex glanced out the viewport, he couldn't help but marvel at the surreal sight before him. Space itself seemed to warp and twist around the cosmic cruiser, creating a mesmerizing display of light and shadow. This is incredible, Alex breathed, his eyes wide with wonder, but also kind of terrifying. The AI nodded in understanding. Indeed, Black holes are among the most powerful forces in the universe, capable of tearing apart anything that comes too close. It's essential that we proceed with caution. With that warning ringing in his ears, Alex focused all his concentration on piloting the cosmic cruiser through the treacherous depths of the black hole. Every maneuver had to be executed with precision, lest they fall victim to the crushing forces of gravity that lurked all around them. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the black hole, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at the pit of his stomach. It was as if the very essence of the cosmos was closing in around them, threatening to swallow them whole. But even in the face of such overwhelming danger, Alex refused to back down. With every fiber of his being, he was determined to see this mission through to the end, no matter the cost. For in that moment, surrounded by the infinite darkness of the black hole, he knew that he was truly living the adventure of a lifetime, and nothing, not even the formidable forces of gravity, could stand in his way. Chapter 7. Navigating the Void As the cosmic cruiser pressed deeper into the heart of the black hole, Alex's senses were bombarded by a cacophony of sensations unlike anything he had ever experienced before. The very fabric of space seemed to twist and contort around them, bending reality in ways that defied logic. Is this even real? Alex muttered, his voice barely audible over the hum of the ship's engines. The AI nodded solemnly. Yes, Alex, what you're experiencing is very real. Inside the black hole, the laws of physics are stretched to their limits, creating a realm of infinite possibility and danger. As they navigated the swirling maelstrom of darkness, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the pit of his stomach. Every instinct told him to turn back, to flee from the terrifying unknown that lay ahead. But deep down, he knew that he couldn't abandon the mission, not when there were lives at stake. With a steely resolve, he pushed aside his fears and focused all his concentration on piloting the cosmic cruiser through the treacherous void. As they pressed deeper into the heart of the black hole, 
The darkness seemed to close in around them, swallowing them whole. Alex felt a shiver run down his spine as he gazed out into the abyss, wondering what secrets lay hidden in the depths of the cosmic void. Suddenly, a blip appeared on the ship's radar, breaking through the oppressive silence of the void. It was a faint signal, barely registering against the backdrop of darkness, but it was enough to send a surge of hope coursing through Alex's veins. That must be them, he said, his voice tinged with excitement. We're getting close. With renewed determination, Alex guided the cosmic cruiser toward the source of the signal, his eyes fixed on the distant point of light that shimmered in the darkness. Whatever lay ahead, he was ready to face it head on, armed with nothing but his courage and the unwavering belief that he could make a difference in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Chapter 8. The Celestial Observatory As the cosmic cruiser approached the source of the distress signal, Alex's heart raced with anticipation. He had braved depths of the black hole, navigated its treacherous voids, and now, finally, he was on the brink of uncovering the truth behind the mysterious call for help. Are we close? Alex asked, his voice echoing through the silent expanse of the ship's cockpit. The AI nodded, its tone tinged with excitement. Yes, Alex, we're almost there. Prepare yourself. With bated breath, Alex watched as the distant point of light grew larger and larger, resolving into the shape of a massive structure nestled amidst the swirling darkness of the black hole. It was a celestial observatory, its domed towers reaching up toward the heavens like outstretched fingers. Wow, Alex breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. I've never seen anything like it. As they drew closer to the observatory, Alex's senses were overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the structure before him. It was like something out of a dream, a shimmering oasis amidst the desolation of the cosmic void. Who built this? He asked, his voice filled with awe. The AI hesitated for a moment before responding, That, Alex, is a mystery yet to be unraveled, but I sense that there are answers waiting to be discovered within those walls. With a sense of determination burning in his chest, Alex guided the cosmic cruiser toward the observatory's landing platform, his hands steady on the controls. As the ship touched down with a soft thud, he couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement at the thought of finally uncovering the truth behind the enigmatic distress signal. Stepping out onto the observatory's platform, Alex took a deep breath and braced himself for whatever lay ahead. He didn't know what dangers awaited him within those walls, but one thing was certain. He was ready to face them head on, armed with nothing but his courage and the unshakable belief that he could make a difference in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Chapter 9. Unraveling the Mysteries As Alex stepped off the cosmic cruiser and onto the landing platform of the Celestial Observatory, a sense of anticipation mingled with apprehension washed over him. The structure loomed before him its towering spires reaching toward the infinite expanse of the cosmos like silent sentinels guarding ancient secrets. Here we go, Alex muttered to himself, stealing his resolve as he approached the observatory's entrance. The doors slid open with a soft hiss, revealing a vast chamber filled with banks of blinking monitors and towering holographic displays. It was a veritable labyrinth of technology, a testament to the advanced knowledge of those who had built it. Whoa, Alex breathed, his eyes wide with wonder as he took in the sight before him. This place is incredible. The AI nodded in agreement. Indeed, Alex, the observatory is a marvel of scientific ingenuity, a beacon of knowledge amidst the darkness of the cosmos. With a sense of purpose driving him forward, Alex made his way deeper into the heart of the observatory, his footsteps echoing through the silent halls. Everywhere he looked, he saw evidence of the advanced civilization that had once called this place home. From intricate murals depicting scenes of cosmic wonder to towering statues honoring the great minds of the past. But as he delved deeper into the labyrinthine corridors of the observatory, Alex couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. There was an eerie stillness that hung in the air, a sense of foreboding that sent a chill down his spine. Is anyone here? He called out his voice echoing through the empty halls. There was no response, only the sound of his own footsteps echoing back to him. But Alex pressed on, 
driven by an insatiable curiosity to uncover the truth behind the mysterious distress signal that had led him here. And then, as he rounded a corner and stepped into a dimly lit chamber at the heart of the observatory, he saw it. A solitary figure hunched over a console, its back turned toward him. Hello, Alex called out, taking a cautious step forward. The figure stiffened, then slowly turned to face him, revealing a face lined with age and wisdom, eyes gleaming with a mixture of sadness and hope. Welcome, traveler, the figure said, its voice tinged with weariness. I've been expecting you. Chapter 10, Lost in the Dark. As Alex stood face to face with the mysterious figure in the heart of the celestial observatory, a sense of curiosity mingled with apprehension gripped him. Who was this person, and what secrets did they hold within the depths of their gaze? Expecting me. How did you know I was coming? Alex asked, his voice trembling slightly with uncertainty. The figure offered a weary smile, as if burdened by the weight of untold truths. I've been watching the stars for a long time, young one. I knew the moment you crossed the threshold into the black hole's domain. Alex's mind raced with questions, but before he could voice them, the figure motioned for him to approach. Come, there is much to discuss, the figure said, gesturing toward a holographic display shimmering in the dim light of the chamber. As Alex stepped closer, he saw that the display was filled with images of distant galaxies and swirling nebulae, each one a testament to the vastness and beauty of the cosmos. These are the wonders of the universe, the figure said, his voice tinged with reverence. But they are also a reminder of the fragility of existence. Alex's brow furrowed in confusion. What do you mean? The figure sighed, as if wrestling with the weight of untold sorrow. Long ago, our civilization stood on the brink of greatness, poised to unlock the secrets of the cosmos and usher in a new era of enlightenment. But then, something went wrong. Alex felt a chill run down his spine as he listened to the figure's words. What could have caused such a cataclysmic downfall? Darkness descended upon us, the figure continued, his voice heavy with regret. A darkness that consumed everything in its path, leaving only ashes and ruin in its wake. As the figure spoke, images flashed before Alex's eyes. Cities reduced to rubble, stars snuffed out like candles in the wind, a civilization brought to its knees by forces beyond its control. We tried to fight back, to resist the encroaching darkness, the figure said, his voice trembling with emotion. But in the end, we were powerless to stop it. And now, all that remains is this, a relic of a forgotten age, lost in the void of space. Alex's heart ached at the figure's tale of loss and despair. He couldn't begin to imagine the pain of watching everything you hold dear crumble to dust before your eyes. But why did you send out the distress signal? Alex asked, his voice barely above a whisper. The figure's gaze grew distant, as if lost in memories of a time long gone. Because there is still hope, young one. Hope that one day, someone will come along who can bring light to the darkness, who can unlock the secrets of the cosmos and restore balance to the universe. With those words hanging in the air like a prayer, the figure turned back to the holographic display, leaving Alex to ponder the magnitude of the task that lay ahead. For in that moment, he knew that his journey was far from over. The mysteries of the universe still awaited him, and he was determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. Chapter 11. A Close Encounter As Alex listened to the figure's tale of loss and hope, a sense of determination welled up inside him. He may have been just one person, but he was determined to make a difference, to bring light to the darkness that had consumed this once great civilization. I won't let their sacrifices be in vain, Alex vowed, his voice firm with resolve. The figure nodded in approval, a glimmer of hope flickering in his tired eyes. You carry the weight of the cosmos on your shoulders, young one. But remember, you are not alone. There are others out there who share your quest for truth and justice. With those words echoing in his mind, Alex turned back to the holographic display, his thoughts racing with possibilities. He knew that he couldn't unravel the mysteries of the universe alone, but with the help of allies and friends, anything was possible. But before he could ponder any further, 
A sudden blip appeared on the observatory's radar, pulling him out of his reverie. It was another ship, approaching at high speed from the depths of space. What's that? Alex asked, his voice tinged with apprehension. The figure's brow furrowed in concern as he studied the radar screen. It appears to be an unidentified vessel, and it's heading straight for us. As the ship drew closer, Alex's heart raced with a mixture of fear and excitement. Who could it be, and what did they want with the observatory? Before he could ponder any further, the ship touched down on the landing platform with a soft thud, its engines whirring to a halt. Alex braced himself for whatever lay ahead, knowing that he had to be prepared for anything. With a hiss of escaping air, the ship's doors slid open, revealing a figure standing in the doorway. It was a humanoid figure, clad in a suit of gleaming armor, their features obscured by a helmet with glowing visor. Who are you? Alex called out, his voice echoing through the chamber. The figure stepped forward, their movements slow and deliberate. I am Captain Kara of the Galactic Alliance, they said, their voice muffled by the helmet and I come bearing a warning. Chapter 12 Gravity Waves and Ripples As Captain Kara of the Galactic Alliance stepped forward, Alex's pulse quickened with a mix of curiosity and apprehension. What could prompt a member of the Galactic Alliance to come to this remote observatory, nestled within the depths of a black hole? A warning, Alex repeated, his voice tinged with urgency. What kind of warning? Captain Kara's visor glowed softly, as they lifted their gaze to meet Alex's. We detected a disturbance in the fabric of space-time, they explained, their tone grave. A series of gravity waves and ripples emanating from this sector of the cosmos. Alex's mind raced with possibilities. Gravity waves were a phenomenon theorized by scientists on Earth, but their detection had been a monumental achievement for astrophysicists everywhere. What could be causing such disturbances in this remote corner of the universe? Is it related to the black hole? Alex asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Captain Kara nodded solemnly. Indeed. Our senses indicate that the disturbances are originating from within the black hole itself, as if something within its depths is stirring. A chill ran down Alex's spine at the thought of what could be lurking within the heart of the black hole. Whatever it was, it was powerful enough to send ripples through the very fabric of space-time. We must investigate further, Captain Kara continued, their voice firm with determination. If these disturbances continue to escalate, they could pose a threat to the stability of the entire galaxy. Alex nodded in agreement, his mind racing with possibilities. He may have come to the observatory seeking answers, but now it seemed that a far greater mystery awaited him within the depths of the black hole. With a sense of purpose burning in his chest, Alex turned to the figure beside him, his eyes alight with determination. Then let's not waste any time. We have a black hole to explore. Chapter 13, The Singularity. As Alex and Captain Kara prepared to embark on their journey into the depths of the black hole, a sense of anticipation hung heavy in the air. The observatory hummed with activity as technicians scurried about, preparing the cosmic cruiser for its most daring mission yet. Are you ready? Captain Kara asked, their voice steady despite the gravity of the situation. Alex nodded, his heart pounding with excitement and trepidation. As ready as I'll ever be, he replied, his voice tinged with determination. With a final glance at the holographic display, which now showed a swirling vortex of darkness stretching into infinity. Alex took a deep breath and stepped aboard the cosmic cruiser. The ship's engines roared to life with a deafening roar, sending vibrations coursing through the deck beneath Alex's feet. With Captain Kara at the helm and the AI guiding their course, they plunged headfirst into the swirling abyss of the black hole. As they hurtled deeper into the heart of the black hole, Alex's senses were overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the forces at play. Space itself seemed to warp and twist around them, creating a disorienting kaleidoscope of light and shadow. We're approaching the singularity, Captain Kara called out, their voice barely audible over the roar of the engines. The singularity, the point of no return, 
where the laws of physics break down and reality itself is stretched to its limits. Alex knew that they were entering uncharted territory, where danger lurked at every turn. But he also knew that they had come too far to turn back now. With every fiber of his being, he was determined to uncover the truth behind the mysterious disturbances plaguing the cosmos. As the cosmic cruiser hurtled toward the singularity, Alex braced himself for whatever lay ahead. The journey ahead would be perilous, but he knew that he was not alone. With Captain Kara by his side and the indomitable spirit of exploration driving them forward, they would face whatever challenges awaited them in the heart of the black hole. Chapter 14 Racing Against Time As the cosmic cruiser hurtled closer to the singularity at the heart of the black hole, a sense of urgency gripped Alex like a vice. Every second felt like an eternity as they raced against time to uncover the truth behind the mysterious disturbances. Are we getting any closer? Alex asked, his voice tense with anticipation. Captain Kara nodded, their eyes fixed on the swirling vortex of darkness looming before them. Yes, but we must proceed with caution. The singularity is a place of unimaginable power, and one wrong move could spell disaster. With a sense of determination burning in his chest, Alex gripped the arms of his chair and braced himself for whatever lay ahead. The singularity was the point of no return, the threshold between the known and the unknown. But he was not afraid. He was ready to face whatever challenges awaited him in the depths of the black hole. As the cosmic cruiser drew closer to the singularity, the forces of gravity grew stronger, pulling at the ship with an irresistible force. Alex felt his stomach lurch as they were dragged inexorably toward the swirling abyss. We're almost there, Captain Kara called out, their voice strained with effort as they fought to keep the ship on course. With a final burst of speed, the cosmic cruiser breached the event horizon of the singularity, hurtling into the heart of the black hole with a deafening roar. Time seemed to stand still as they plunged into the darkness, the very fabric of reality warping and twisting around them. And then, with a sudden jolt, they emerged on the other side into a realm of infinite possibility and wonder. Before them stretched a vast expanse of swirling colors and shimmering light, a cosmic tapestry woven from the fabric of the universe itself. We made it, Alex breathed, his voice filled with awe and wonder. But their journey was far from over, for in that moment, as they gazed out into the endless expanse of the cosmos, they knew that the true adventure was only just beginning. Chapter 15 The Heart of the Cosmos As the cosmic cruiser emerged from the singularity into the vast expanse of the cosmos, Alex's breath caught in his throat. Before him stretched a panorama of breathtaking beauty, a symphony of colors and shapes that danced across the canvas of space. Wow, he whispered, his voice barely audible over the hum of the ship's engines. Captain Kara nodded in agreement, their eyes alight with wonder. It's like nothing I've ever seen before, they said, their voice filled with reverence. As they drifted through the cosmic void, Alex couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the sheer magnitude of the universe. It was a place of infinite possibility, where the boundaries of time and space seemed to blur and fade away. But amid the beauty of the cosmos, there was also danger lurking in the shadows. Alex could sense it, a primal instinct urging him to tread carefully in this unfamiliar realm. We need to find the source of the disturbances, he said, his voice firm with determination. Captain Kara nodded in agreement, their gaze scanning the vast expanse of space before them. Agreed, but where do we begin? As they pondered their next move, a sudden blip appeared on the ship's radar, pulling them out of their reverie. It was a faint signal barely registering against the backdrop of stars, but it was enough to send a surge of excitement coursing through Alex's veins. That must be it, he said, pointing toward the source of the signal. With a sense of purpose driving them forward, Alex and Captain Kara guided the cosmic cruiser toward the distant point of light that shimmered in the darkness. Whatever lay ahead, they were ready to face it head on armed with nothing but their courage and the unwavering belief that they could make a difference in the vast expanse of the cosmos. And as they ventured deeper into the heart of the cosmos, 
Alex couldn't shake the feeling that their journey was far from over, for in that moment, surrounded by the endless expanse of space, he knew that the true adventure was only just beginning. Chapter 16, The Origin of the Disturbance As the cosmic cruiser ventured closer to the source of the signal, Alex's anticipation grew with each passing moment. What mysteries awaited them at this distant point in the cosmos? He couldn't shake the feeling that they were on the brink of a discovery that would reshape their understanding of the universe. Any idea what we might find? Alex asked, his voice tinged with excitement. Captain Kara shook their head, their expression thoughtful. It's hard to say, but one thing's for certain. Whatever's causing these disturbances, it's something powerful. With the ship's sensors scanning the surrounding space, they soon arrived at their destination, a small, unassuming planet nestled within a distant star system. But as they drew closer, it became clear that there was more to this planet than met the eye. What's that? Alex asked, pointing toward a strange structure protruding from the planet's surface. Captain Kara's brow furrowed in concern as they studied the readings on the ship's monitors. It appears to be some sort of ancient alien artifact, they said, their voice filled with awe and wonder. But how it got here, and what its purpose is, remains a mystery. As they landed the cosmic cruiser on the planet's surface, Alex felt a sense of excitement building in his chest. Whatever lay ahead, he knew that they were on the brink of a discovery that would change everything. Stepping out onto the barren landscape, Alex and Captain Kara made their way toward the strange structure their senses alert for any sign of danger. But as they drew closer, they were greeted by an unexpected sight, a group of humanoid figures emerging from the shadows. Who are you? Alex called out, his voice echoing across the empty expanse. The figures approached cautiously, their faces obscured by hoods and cloaks. But as they drew closer, Alex could see the glint of intelligence in their eyes, and he knew that they were not alone. We are the guardians of the cosmos, one of the figures said, their voice resonating with authority. And we have been watching you, young ones. You carry the spark of curiosity and determination within you, the same spark that once drove our civilization to greatness. Alex's heart raced with excitement at the realization that they were not alone in their quest. The guardians held the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe and Alex knew that they were about to embark on the journey of a lifetime. Chapter 17, The Guardian's Revelation As Alex and Captain Kara stood before the Guardians of the Cosmos, a sense of reverence washed over them. These enigmatic figures held the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe, and Alex couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement at the prospect of learning from them. What do you know about the disturbances in the cosmos? Alex asked, his voice filled with curiosity. The Guardians exchanged a knowing glance before the eldest among them stepped forward, their gaze piercing and wise. We have sensed a disturbance in the fabric of reality, the Guardian said, their voice carrying the weight of ages, a darkness that threatens to consume all that we hold dear. Alex felt a chill run down his spine at the Guardian's words. Whatever was causing these disturbances, it was far more dangerous than he had ever imagined. What can we do to stop it? He asked, his voice tinged with urgency. The Guardian's eyes glimmered with ancient wisdom as they spoke. You carry within you the power to bring balance to the cosmos, they said. But first, you must unlock the true potential of your inner light. Alex furrowed his brow in confusion. What do you mean? The Guardian gestured toward a nearby structure, a towering obelisk adorned with intricate symbols and glyphs. Within this ancient artifact lies the key to unlocking your true potential, they explained. But be warned, young one, the path ahead will not be easy. You will face trials and tribulations beyond your wildest imagination. Alex's heart raced with excitement at the thought of embarking on such a monumental journey. He knew that the fate of the universe rested in his hands, and he was determined to rise to the challenge. With a sense of determination burning in his chest, Alex stepped forward and placed his hand upon the surface of the obelisk. As he did, he felt a surge of energy coursing through his veins, filling him with a newfound sense of purpose and resolve. And in that moment, surrounded by the ancient wisdom of the Guardians, 
Alex knew that he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, for he was the Chosen One, destined to bring light to the darkness and restore balance to the cosmos once and for all. Chapter 18 The Trial of Light As Alex touched the surface of the ancient obelisk, a surge of energy washed over him, filling him with a sense of power and purpose. The symbols etched into the stone glowed with an otherworldly light, illuminating the surrounding landscape with an ethereal glow. What's happening? Captain Kara asked, their voice filled with awe. Alex could feel the energy coursing through his veins, resonating with the very essence of his being. It was as if the obelisk was unlocking something deep within him, awakening powers that he never knew he possessed. I don't know, Alex replied, his voice tinged with wonder, but I feel different. The guardians watched in silent reverence as Alex's form began to shimmer with an otherworldly light. It was a sight unlike anything they had ever seen before, a testament to the power of the ancient artifact and the resilience of the human spirit. As the light grew brighter, Alex felt a sense of peace wash over him. It was as if he was being guided by an unseen force, leading him down a path of enlightenment and self-discovery. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the light faded, leaving Alex standing before the Guardians with a newfound sense of clarity and purpose. What just happened? Captain Kara asked, their eyes wide with astonishment. Alex took a deep breath, his mind buzzing with newfound knowledge and understanding. I think, I think I just passed the trial of light, he said, his voice filled with awe. The Guardians nodded in silent approval, their faces inscrutable behind their hoods and cloaks. They had witnessed Alex's transformation firsthand, and they knew that he was now ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With a sense of determination burning in his chest, Alex turned to face the Guardians, his eyes alight with newfound purpose. I am ready to fulfill my destiny, he said, his voice steady and resolute. And as he stepped forward to embark on the next leg of his journey, Alex knew that he was not alone. With the wisdom of the Guardians to guide him and the power of the ancient obelisk coursing through his veins, he was ready to face whatever trials and tribulations awaited him in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Chapter 19 The Final Confrontation With the power of the ancient obelisk coursing through his veins, Alex felt an overwhelming sense of purpose driving him forward. He knew that the fate of the universe rested in his hands, and he was determined to confront the darkness that threatened to consume everything in its path. Where do we go from here? Captain Kara asked, their voice filled with anticipation. Alex turned to face the Guardians, his eyes alight with determination. We must find the source of the disturbances and put an end to them once and for all, he said, his voice steady and resolute. The Guardians nodded in silent approval, their faces inscrutable behind their hoods and cloaks. They had seen the spark of greatness within Alex, and they knew that he was destined for greatness. With the cosmic cruiser at their disposal, Alex and Captain Kara set out into the depths of space, guided by the wisdom of the Guardians and the power of the ancient obelisk. They journeyed through distant galaxies and uncharted nebulae, their senses alert for any sign of danger. And then, finally, they arrived at their destination, a distant star system shrouded in darkness. It was here that they sensed the source of the disturbances, a powerful entity lurking in the shadows, waiting to unleash its wrath upon the cosmos. We must confront it, Alex said, his voice filled with steely resolve. With a sense of purpose driving them forward, Alex and Captain Kara guided the cosmic cruiser toward the heart of the star system, their hearts pounding with anticipation. They knew that the final confrontation awaited them, and they were prepared to face it head on. As they entered the heart of the star system, they were met with a sight that filled them with awe and terror, a massive black hole, its swirling vortex of darkness stretching into infinity. It's here, Captain Kara said, their voice barely audible over the hum of the ship's engines. With a deep breath, Alex gripped the controls of the cosmic cruiser and prepared to face the ultimate challenge. He knew that the fate of the universe hung in the balance, and he was ready to do whatever it took to emerge victorious. And as they plunged into the heart of the black hole, Alex knew that this would be their greatest trial yet. But he also knew that with the power of the ancient obelisk, 
and the wisdom of the guardians at their side, they stood a chance of defeating the darkness once and for all. Chapter 20, Triumph of Light. As the cosmic cruiser plunged deeper into the swirling vortex of the black hole, Alex and Captain Kara braced themselves for the final confrontation. The darkness seemed to press in on all sides, threatening to swallow them whole, but they refused to yield to its oppressive embrace. We're getting close, Alex said, his voice steady despite the turmoil raging around them. Captain Kara nodded in agreement, their eyes fixed on the shimmering point of light that beckoned from the heart of the black hole. It was there, amidst the chaos and destruction, that they would find the source of the disturbances and put an end to it once and for all. With a surge of determination burning in their chests, Alex and Captain Kara guided the cosmic cruiser toward the light, their hearts pounding with anticipation. They knew that the final battle awaited them, and they were prepared to face it with all the strength and courage they could muster. And then, suddenly, they emerged from the darkness into a realm of blinding light and deafening silence. Before them stretched a vast expanse of shimmering energy, pulsating with the power of a thousand suns. It's beautiful, Alex whispered, his voice filled with awe and wonder. But their moment of awe was short-lived, for amidst the brilliance of the light, they sensed a presence lurking in the shadows, a dark and malevolent force that threatened to consume everything in its path. We have to stop it, Captain Kara said, their voice filled with determination. With a shared nod, Alex and Captain Kara prepared to face the darkness head-on, their minds clear and their hearts steadfast. They knew that this would be their greatest challenge yet, but they were ready to do whatever it took to emerge victorious. With a surge of power coursing through their veins, Alex and Captain Kara unleashed a barrage of energy upon the darkness, their determination unyielding and their resolve unwavering. They fought with all their might, pushing back against the encroaching tide of darkness with every fiber of their being. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the darkness was vanquished, its malevolent presence banished from the cosmos forever. With a triumphant shout, Alex and Captain Kara emerged victorious, their spirits soaring as they basked in the glow of their hard-fought victory. As they gazed out into the endless expanse of space, Alex and Captain Kara knew that their journey was far from over, but with the power of the ancient obelisk and the wisdom of the Guardians to guide them, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For they were the champions of light, the Guardians of the cosmos, and they would do whatever it took to ensure that peace and harmony prevailed throughout the universe for generations to come. Chapter 21, The Return Home. With the darkness vanquished and balance restored to the cosmos, Alex and Captain Kara stood victorious amidst the swirling energy of the black hole. A sense of peace washed over them as they basked in the glow of their hard-earned triumph, knowing that they had saved the universe from certain destruction. We did it, Alex said, his voice filled with relief and pride. Captain Kara nodded, their eyes shining with admiration. Yes, we did. But we couldn't have done it without the help of the Guardians, and the power of the ancient obelisk. As they prepared to depart from the black hole and return home, Alex couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness at the thought of leaving this place behind. It had been the site of their greatest triumph, a symbol of hope and resilience in the face of unimaginable darkness. But he knew that their work was far from over. There were still mysteries to unravel, adventures to be had, and worlds to explore. And with Captain Kara by his side, and the wisdom of the Guardians to guide them, he knew that anything was possible. With a final glance at the swirling vortex of the black hole, Alex and Captain Kara boarded the cosmic cruiser and set a course for home. As they hurtled through the depths of space, their hearts were light with the knowledge that they had made a difference in the vast expanse of the cosmos. And as they emerged from the black hole and into the familiar expanse of the galaxy, Alex felt a sense of peace settle over him. They had faced unimaginable challenges and emerged stronger for it, their bond forged in the fires of adversity. As they made their way back to Earth, Alex couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement at the thought of returning home. It had been a long and arduous journey, but they had emerged victorious, 
their spirits soaring as they look forward to the adventures that lay ahead. For in that moment, as they hurtled through the cosmos at the speed of light, Alex knew that their journey was far from over, and with the stars as their guide and the universe as their playground, there was no telling what wonders awaited them in the endless expanse of space. Chapter 22 Reflections on the Journey As the cosmic cruiser sailed through the vast expanse of space, Alex and Captain Kara found themselves reflecting on the journey that had brought them to this moment. They sat side by side in the cockpit, gazing out at the stars that stretched into infinity, lost in thought. It's hard to believe everything we've been through, Alex said, breaking the silence that had settled between them. Captain Kara nodded, their eyes fixed on the swirling nebulae that dotted the cosmic landscape. Indeed, it feels like a lifetime ago that we first set out on this journey. As they journeyed through the cosmos, their minds drifted back to the challenges they had faced and the triumphs they had celebrated along the way. From their initial encounter with the distress signal to their final confrontation with the darkness at the heart of the black hole, each moment had shaped them in ways they could never have imagined. I never would have thought that a simple distress signal could lead to all of this, Alex mused, his voice tinged with awe. Captain Kara smiled, a flicker of amusement dancing in their eyes. Yes, it's funny how the universe works. Sometimes, the most unexpected journeys lead to the greatest discoveries. As they continued to reflect on the journey, Alex and Captain Kara found themselves filled with a sense of gratitude for the experiences they had shared and the bonds they had formed along the way. They had faced unimaginable challenges and emerged stronger for it, their friendship forged in the fires of adversity. I couldn't have asked for a better partner on this journey, Alex said, turning to face Captain Kara with a smile. Captain Kara returned the smile, their expression warm and genuine. Likewise, we made a great team, Alex. I couldn't have done it without you. With a sense of contentment settling over them, Alex and Captain Kara turned their attention back to the stars that stretched out before them. They knew that their journey was far from over, but for now, they were content to bask in the glow of their hard-earned victory and the knowledge that they had made a difference in the vast expanse of the cosmos. And as they sailed through the endless expanse of space, Alex and Captain Kara knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their quest for adventure and discovery. Chapter 23 Arrival Back on Earth As the cosmic cruiser descended through the Earth's atmosphere, Alex and Captain Kara felt a sense of anticipation building within them. They had journeyed through the depths of space, facing unimaginable challenges and triumphing over adversity and now they were returning home as heroes. The familiar sight of Earth greeted them as they emerged from the clouds, the sprawling cities and vast oceans stretching out before them like a patchwork quilt. It was a sight they had longed to see after their long journey through the cosmos, and it filled them with a sense of warmth and nostalgia. We're almost there, Alex said, his voice tinged with excitement. Captain Kara nodded, their eyes fixed on the horizon as they prepared to touch down on solid ground once more. It had been a long and arduous journey, but they had finally reached the end, and they were ready to embrace whatever awaited them back on Earth. As the cosmic cruiser descended toward the landing pad, a crowd of cheering onlookers gathered to welcome them home. They waved banners and cheered loudly, their faces alight with excitement and gratitude for the heroes who had saved the universe from certain destruction. It's good to be home. Alex said, a smile spreading across his face as he took in the sight of the cheering crowd. Captain Kara nodded in agreement, their eyes shining with pride as they watched the crowd below. They had faced impossible odds and emerged victorious, and now they were being hailed as saviors by the people of Earth. As the cosmic cruiser touched down on the landing pad, Alex and Captain Kara stepped out onto the solid ground, greeted by a thunderous round of applause from the crowd. They waved and smiled, their hearts swelling with pride at the warm reception. We did it, Alex said, turning to Captain Kara with a grin. Captain Kara returned the smile, their expression filled with admiration for their young companion. Yes, we did. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner on this journey. With a sense of accomplishment settling over them, Alex and Captain Kara embraced amidst the cheering crowd their hearts full of gratitude for the experiences they had shared 
and the bonds they had formed along the way. They had journeyed to the ends of the universe and back, and now they were home at last, ready to embark on whatever adventures awaited them next. As our story comes to a close, we thank you for joining us on this captivating adventure at Storytime Haven. If you enjoyed the tale, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enchanting stories. Until next time, may your dreams be filled with wonder and your imagination soar beyond the stars. Farewell, fellow travelers, and may your journey through the realms of storytelling be ever magical.